So what do you need to know about the meter on the side of your house? As you can see, this meter is not on the side of a house. Uh, we're at my house. It's a farm, so this is you know, 400 amp service, and this meter is kind of standalone. But this, if you had an underground service, this would be attached to your house. If you had an overhead service, there'd be a meter here, a pipe going up, and ComEd's wires attached to it, right? Um, so if you take a look at the meter here, you see it flashing a bunch of numbers and stuff like that. That means it's working. Let's say you think you have a power outage. Uh, first thing I would do is come out, check your meter, and just make sure it's still flashing these numbers. If it's flashing these numbers and it doesn't say open, then there's still power coming from ComEd into your home. And if you have a partial power outage at that point, you don't see open, you still see the numbers flashing, that means you gotta call an electrician, right? So another thing to know is that ComEd actually owns this meter. They don't own this pedestal. They don't own an overhead pedestal. It's the customer's responsibility to maintain the pedestal. It's Commonwealth Edison's responsibility to maintain the meter. Um, also on an overhead meter, the pipe going up your wall and the bracket that's screwed in your wall, that's maintain, owned and maintained by you, the homeowner, not Commonwealth Edison. So if that bracket ever comes out or the Let's say a tree limb falls on your power lines, your overhead power lines, and it pulls the pipe off the building, pulls the bracket off. You're responsible for replacing both the pipe and the bracket. 